Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the MindBay API. So what the MindBay, what the MindBay API is, is it allows you to add your own items to the store. So currently right now, there are only my furniture items, but this tutorial today will teach you guys how to add your own items in. Now there are two methods that you can do this. One is through the config and one is using coding. Now we're going to be doing both today but we're going to start off with the config because this is probably one that most people are going to use. So what you want to do is head over to your app data folder and if you're in Windows go to the top and write in percent app data percent or you can type it down in the search bar um, when you press start and press enter and it will bring up with this window. Head into your .minecraft and then scroll down until you get to a folder called config and then search for a file called cfm.cfg. Double click that and open it up. Now you should have opened it with notepad or notepad++ or something like that. Scroll down to the bottom and then you'll see the section here called mindbay and it says add vanilla items slash blocks to mindbay. Now I recommend that you only add vanilla ones as um, this is not a really good way to add um, say such items from different mods because um, usually if you change the ID in their config files you have to change it in here as well which can be just a hassle and it could give you errors so let's go over the values that you can change here so the first one is the currency and by default this is an emerald um, this should be 2A8 I was just doing some tests before just to make sure it was working um, but all you got to do here is enter the item ID that you want the currency to be so um, for this I'm gonna make it glass which is tw ID 20 now we've already got some IDs here so we'll, we'll get rid of these IDs that I had before um, when you open up it should actually look something um, like this if you haven't done anything at all now we'll change that back to 20 now to add in your own items what you're gonna do is enter the item ID here so we might add in stone, so what you want to do is press enter, create a new line, space, 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 until you get in line with the arrow, and enter 1, so the ID for stone is 1. Now if you want to add more, all you get to do is press enter, space, 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 and then enter your next ID, which we might do 50, which is a torch. Now when you do the price, you want to make sure you do a price for every single ID, so um, if I've got two IDs here, I'm going to enter two prices down the bottom here. So the first one is for the stone because it's the first one in the list here. And we'll make the price for, for the stone 20 glass. Now the price for the torch will make it 2 glass. Now we'll go ahead, click File, Save, and we'll head into our Minecraft. And we'll go ahead and we open up the computer now. You'll see that we've got the stone here for 20 glass. If we go over one, you'll see that we've got the torch here for 2 glass. Now that is practically it. Um, the config way is quite simple, but I only recommend um, using vanilla items as I said before. Um, you can do mod items, but the reason for that, as I said, is that if you change the block ID, um, you have to change it in that as well, and it could just be a hassle and errors could come up. Um, I have added... I have added um, support so it doesn't crash but still you might be like confused why it's not working and all that stuff so um, I suggest that you don't really add mod items just to make it easy for you guys and you don't get all confused and all that stuff but anyway we're going to move on to the preferred way which is uh, for only modders if you're coding something and you want to add the items to this mine base store so we'll head over to Eclipse and you want to make sure you have the API um, download it as well. The link will be in the description for that. So you want to open the furniture api.zip up and you want to drag this com folder which is inside of it onto your source package over here in Eclipse. So drag and drop that onto there and then you're going to press OK. And now I've already got it in here so I'm just going to overwrite everything that's in there. Now go to your mod class. Now we're going to go to uh, my tutorial one here and in your load method what you want to do is you want to type mine bay api dot add item to mine bay and then for, for the first argument here we've got an item stack so you want to type new item stack actually stack and then put in your item your item so the item that I've got for test here is this item test so all you have to do is write item 
um, test and then you want to do a comma and then do one. Now the second argument is the price so this is just a simple integer so for the price we're going to do five and then we're going to do a semicolon at the end here that should be pretty standard if you know Java. Uh, we'll add another item so we might we might actually just do like a vanilla item this time because we might not want to um, do it use our own item so we can simply just do item uh, whatever dragon can we is that egg egg is that we'll just do egg or something like that and then we'll make the price of the egg one and the currency will be the currency that you define in the config file so if you set it to like glass as I did the currency is going to be glass so we'll go ahead and we'll run the game right now and if we open up the computer and we just scroll across I think we have to go back so as you can see we've got our test item here for five um, coins now I do have my Cray tokens mod on but if you don't have this installed it will use the currency that is in the config which would have been the glass on my other version and we've also got the egg here for one um, Cray token uh, but again, this would be the currency that you put in the um, the config class unless you have my Cray tokens installed. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something today. If you did and you added your own custom items to your MineBay store, let me know in the um, the comments what you added. It would just be interesting to know what you guys think should be in there because I might possibly just add it in by default. Um, in my furniture mod. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to leave a like and